Hey, what's up? I'm bored. What's up with you? I was just about to reach level 15 in Cave Beast when the power went out. It sucks when the power's out. So you want to hang out? Okay. Hi, guys. Hey. What's wrong? The power's out. I know, isn't it great? Come on, get in. You can help me out with a few chores. It won't take long. And I promise I'll return you to your virtual world when the power comes back on. What's up? The police called. They need me to check something out in the park. Let's go. Whoa, snapping turtles bite, don't they? Yep, it's probably why we got a call on this one. So they're not called snapping turtles because they've got rhythm? Uh, no. The snapping turtle is Canada's largest freshwater turtle. Their long and powerful necks help them strike out and bite with their massive jaws. When it comes to eating, snappers are not picky. In fact, they're omnivores, which means they can eat just about anything. Vegetation, fish, frogs, birds, and small mammals. They're also effective scavengers and will eat dead fish and drowned animals. Snappers can live more than 50 years. They inhabit ponds, lakes, rivers, and streams from Nova Scotia to Saskatchewan. Female snappers lay their eggs in the summer. They choose soft earth or sand on beaches or roadsides. Unfortunately, many females are killed each year as they attempt to cross highways and reach laying sites. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take him back to the water. You're going to pick him up? Yep. You have to do it properly and safely. You have to approach snapping turtles from behind and get a firm hold of their tail. Then this hand is free to go right between their back legs. Then you can support their weight. Why not just grab the side of its shell? They've got very fast reflexes. The only place that a snapping turtle can't reach is their tail and their belly. Is it heavy? Mm, this one's not too bad. About five kilograms, but they can be as much as 20 kilograms. It's important when you're carrying them to keep them low to the ground because they're not used to heights, and this way you can set them down easily if you need to. What's wrong? I think it's a lizard. Let me see. It's a spotted salamander. You just disturbed him when you sat down. Do they suck blood or something? No. One of the most feared woodland creatures, the northern vampire salamander is a savage nighttime hunter. I'm just trying to lighten things up a little bit. There's no such thing as a northern vampire salamander. The spotted salamander is a secretive creature, sometimes mistaken for a reptile. It's actually an amphibian, a class of vertebrates between fish and reptiles. The larvae breathe by gills in water, and the adults breathe by lungs on land. The spotted salamander feeds on spiders, insects, and worms, lives in deciduous forests with ponds, and spends most of its time under logs or stones, or burrowing underground. Their home range is rarely bigger than a few square meters, but during breeding season, they migrate as far as 500 meters to reach a suitable pond. Well, we took care of that. Yep. We'll be right over. What now? Mrs. Smith called again. Oh, she lives down my street. That's her. She thinks she has a bear in her backyard. A, a bear? bear? A small bear. Let's go check it out. Listen, Jody. I don't think these chairs offer a whole lot of bear protection. It's not a bear. But you said... Mrs. Smith said it was a bear. Look, at the edge of the property. I see it. What is it? Hey, that's not a bear. Let me see. I know what it is. It's a... It's a groundhog. A small bear. <laughs> you thought the salamander was a lizard. Mrs. Smith thought the groundhog was a bear. Okay, point taken. Is it dangerous? Only if it has martial arts training. Ready to track ninja groundhogs and other woodland creatures? It's Connor Strong, the amazing new action figure from Hinterland Toys. Wow! He walks. He talks. Blah, blah, blah. He wears funny clothes. 
Hey, get camping, Connor. Hiking, Connor. Fisherman, Connor. Connor, the barbarian. Hey, I like this. Hula, Connor. Ah,、oh, come on. Outdoor exploration gear sold separately. Actually, you don't need any of this stuff to get out and enjoy the natural world. But dressing him up is way too much fun. I just want to learn a little more about groundhogs. We can do that. Also known as the woodchuck, the groundhog is diurnal, which means it's active during the day. Groundhogs prefer open areas such as fields and clearings where they can find wild plants, clover, and alfalfa to eat. They live in burrows, which usually have a main entrance and one or more additional holes where they can escape enemies. Groundhogs are true hibernators. During the winter, they enter a deep sleep where their body temperature will remain just above freezing, and their heart rate will drop from about 80 beats per minute to only four or five. You know, now I'm glad the power went out. Yeah, you won't see this on TV. Not right now, anyway. I don't even miss my computer right now. We need to get out, hang with other animals, do things like this. What about you, Jenny? Still bored? No, I'm really tired. But the funny thing is, I've never felt so awake. <sighs> There are lots of easy ways to experience wildlife. Visit Hinterland Who's Who online and tell us about your ideas. You'll find tons more on the website about how to live with the wildlife that surrounds us. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by. So get out and see it. <laughs>